Hey guys, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you perfumes that I've purchased recently. I only have a few, but I think that they'll be interesting to talk about anyway. Um, but before I start, I actually want to talk about this decant that I purchased. And it's by the brand Atar Collection. And, you know, Atar Collection, you know, you never really hear, like, you, I never really see videos on it. Like, I maybe see one or two Russian vloggers mention it. And maybe some like uh, American YouTubers. It's not. It's not really popular in the UK. And I know that there's only one site where you can purchase it from, um, like a full bottle. So today I just have a five ml. I mean less since I sprayed it. So guys, this is supposed to be gourmand, milkshakey. I know it has ice cream, raspberry. Luckily, guys, I don't get raspberry. I don't get anything sour in this. So for me. I recorded a whole video yesterday, like a first impressions me spraying it, but the truth is guys, with first impressions, like, there's really not much to say, like, because in the beginning I'm still trying to find out, I'm still trying to figure out how to, um, you know, name a fragrance or like, what tell you what I can smell, right, but, I know, this is such a comedian, so guys, spoiler alert, it's milkshake, it's very nice, it's strawberry powder, but it's such a chameleon because each time you imagine something, you'll smell it. Like, if I imagine strawberry powder, yes, I get it. If I imagine just peaches and creams, I get that. If I imagine, like, blueberry ice cream, I smell it. It's so weird. Like, it changes each time. Um, I can compare this to one fragrance, and that is Oh Baby by the Dua brand. This I've described as strawberry milkshake. I mean, they both have that strawberry milkshake. This one is a bit more powdery, and there is a bit of powderiness in here. But guys, do you know what? Imagine peaches, creams, soaked in milk, and some tropical fruits, like mango. Very diluted, very light and airy. I don't know, guys. Yeah, I, I like the smell of it, but... I would just, I describe this as a milkshake perfume, and I already kind of have a milkshake perfume, right? But we'll see. I have this little tiny size, so I'll see how with time it changes and opens up. I'm curious to see how it smells like in summertime, because although the notes, it looks like it would be suited mainly for winter. You know, I do like it. I do like it, guys. But it's only because I have this that I'm just kind of like, you know, hesitating a bit, you know? But... You know what, no, I think I want a full 100 bottle. I, I want a full bottle of this, but we'll see with time how it changes and opens up. Longevity, so, you know, last, yeah, yesterday evening I was testing it, spraying it. And before bed, I feel like the best thing, the best way to build your relationship with a fragrance is to spray it on your skin or clothes um, and then go sleep. And then see how it feels, like at night, like, you know, how does it make you feel? And honestly... For now, it's very intimate, like, the performance don't really smell anything, it doesn't have any projection, it's very, it sits close to the skin. But we'll see how with time it changes. Yeah, I really like this, guys, I think if you're looking for a milkshake perfume, try to get a decant of this, but I know that everyone in the reviews, it's like 50-50, some people say that it smells like juice and other things, like very synthetic, you know, for me it's very light and airy. Smells like pastel colours and yeah, pretty, pretty. So we'll see guys. This has been on my wishes for like a year, so I'm so glad that I managed to get decant. But enough of Hayati, so yeah, I feel like it's underrated, nobody really talks about it. So pay attention to this perfume, guys. Okay, so finally guys, perfumes that I have purchased within like the past two months or so, I've been very good. Like I've been controlling myself and I think these days like, I can kind of look at accords and notes and really guess what kind of perfume, like, if I will like the perfume or not, so there is that. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, let me start off with the oldest one. So, that would be Ariana Grande Cloud 2.0. So, guys, um, I have Cloud, like, a small travel size. No, not travel size, it's like a 30ml. And I also purchased a 100ml with this, so I bought both of them, but I don't think there's any point in me showing you the original Cloud. So guys, Cloud, I like to layer it with everything. It has that Baccarat DNA to me. It's like the closest clone to Baccarat Rouge there is. I love that perfume, guys. Like, I get cravings for it. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's the... I don't know what it is, but something so addicting. But guys, yes, this smells very similar to Cloud. 
but more aromatic and more creamy lactonic. I really, really like this. It's so, so creamy and aromatic. And you know, guys, aromatic perfumes, they can make me a bit nauseous sometimes, but I actually really, really like this. It has good longevity. I think this is my perfume uh, early in the day, um, my scent of the day. But yeah, I like Ariana Grande. Her perfumes are a bit weird. Like, I have these two, right, coincidentally. Um, I also have another full bottle. And I'm going to be unboxing it soon, like when it arrives. But guys, that is a perfume that is gorgeous. I don't want to spoil it, but it's a new Ariana Grande perfume that nobody is talking about. And oh my god, guys, I can't wait to receive it and talk to you guys about it. Oh my god, I'm dropping it. So, yeah, I mean, I like this. It's very creamy electronic. It reminds me of Kaid Al Forsan Unlimited by Le Tefa. And yeah, it's just nice to have very cozy. Okay, what else? Oh god, I can't remember the order, but anyways, let's just go as we, let's just do it as we go. Okay, so Vanilla Cake by Montel. So guys, this is my first Montel that is like tiny. <laughs> what size is this? 50 ml. Okay, guys, this is so random, but you know, like right in the beginning of my fragrance collecting, ju collecting journey, for some reason, when I looked at the Montel bottles online, the first perfume that I ordered by Montel was Intense Cafe, and for some reason... I thought that the bottle would be huge, like this. Like, I know, just looking at the Google images, I thought that it would be huge. And I remember when I received it, the Montel bottles are small, and yeah, that's just like a little fun fact that I remembered recently. I don't know, like, at the time, was I not watching videos on it? I don't know, I was such a noob back then. But anyways, guys, Vanilla Cake. You know, I'm still trying to befriend this, guys. Like, the notes are beautiful. Isn't this, like, meringue, caramel, milky? You would think they had super... Lactonic, super creamy, super, you know, gourmand. You know, with time is getting better, like... It reminds me so much of that, um... Shit, what is it? So you guys know Diptyque, they had a limited edition gourmand candle. Like, a few months ago, and I forget what it was. They had a whipped cream candle. And it smelled exactly like this. For me, this doesn't smell expensive, unfortunately. It just smells like... Cheap candles. I mean... I can see the appeal in it. With time, it definitely is getting better. Like, I like the sweetness. To me, mainly, it smells like biscuits, but just need that alcohol note to kind of disappear because it does linger like nail varnish. Or, no, sorry, what is that? Nail polish remover? It kind of, acetone. Yeah, I get this acetone, and it usually takes a few minutes for it to disappear, but yeah, guys, the notes and the name is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I want it to smell like a vanilla cake. A lot of people like this though, but for me, at the moment, it just smells like cheap candles. Like, not really like a true, expensive, nice gourmand. I think Sweet Vanilla by Montel, which I own. Um, I didn't like that first, but I do actually really, really like that. For some reason, I go nose blind to that fragrance. I don't know why, like, I'll bathe in that shit, but for some reason, I just cannot smell it on myself at all. Bizarre. But yeah, it just smells like... A vanilla cheap candle and we'll leave it at that for now performance i would say it has moderate performance yeah but we'll see hopefully i can befriend you a bit more i like the volume it's kind of cute it's really small <laughs> okay so what else is next oh my gosh okay guys this perfume <gasps> i've just been spraying it non-stop guys i love it so much mercedes black bands we Okay, so guys, um, nobody really talks about this, but I see on Fragrantica there are reviews, it's mainly men. Guys, okay, so, when I received it, I was so disappointed. Like, for the first three weeks, yes, three weeks, I was spraying it constantly, trying to let the bottle marinate and get some oxygen so that it really starts working. And all it smelt like was, oh gosh, all it smelt like was Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. You guys know that I recently gave away... Casablanca, just because I tried to befriend it for the longest time. I got zero sweetness. It just smelled like sour apples. This has that DNA, but it's way better. Let's spray it. Actually, no, let me do it on my skin. <laughs> I love the atomizer. I love the bottle. Oh my gosh, guys, I have so many things that I want to say about this. So, listen, guys, it's a generic vanilla. It's a smoky vanilla. I think this would be... A good staple for beginners to have but if you're a perfume maniac maybe this won't wow you the only reason why it wows me is because of this smoky vanilla and it's just kind of it has a syrupy sweetness it's like perfectly blended like literally harmonious 
amazing longevity, affordable price. It's an eau de toilette, but it does last. It does last. I just have to, I had to let it marinate. Um, so in the beginning, guys, you'll get that Ambrox on, but then it fades, luckily. Like, it doesn't really smell like a... In the beginning, I thought this was very masculine, but this is a nice, cozy, unisex perfume. Oh my god, I love it so much. Yes, it has that Arabian DNA with the sweetness. I kind of just want to eat my hand. It smells so, so delicious. Um, and more refined, you know, it's like a refined vanilla. It's not that bullshit sweetness. Niche, literally niche, guys. And this smells like it could easily be a hundred pounds, a hundred pounds plus. You know, what could I compare it? So... Yeah, Sw Swiss Arabian Casablanca, it smells similar to that, um, but this is way better. Like, this actually has a sweetness and that smokiness and it smells so luxe. Uh, maybe a rag bar by Le Tefa. I tested that a long time ago. That's also like an instancy vanilla, right? But don't quote me on that. Guys, I like to layer this with Golden Sand by Al... Al Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Golden Sand by Al Rehab. Guys, together, this is amazing, so... Golden Sand is kind of the same story, like, in the beginning. No, for a good few months, I couldn't smell anything. They don't understand the hype, but... Now it smells like this grape juice. Syrupy sweetness. Mmm, so delicious. And together, yes. It's just a bomb. You need this, guys. I mean, no, do you need this? No. I think this would be just a nice staple. Like, a nice smoky vanilla. If you're craving a smoky vanilla that smells a bit niche, then yeah, buy this. If you already have a bunch of vanilla fragrances, mm, you'll survive. But guys, for the price, it's insane. Oh my god, I love it so much. And the bubble that it creates, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, so. What else? I'm going in order, right? Okay, so. I have this one and then just one last one. Okay, so guys, look at the bowl. It's a cheap little shirt. Sorry, I'm sorry. Like, this is just disgusting. Okay, so guys. <laughs> Boucheron. Boucher and Fleur. Okay, so I saw one vlogger talk about this and she said it's like a very nice floral. Yes, guys, so if you if you like floral perfumes, like you know the old school classic French perfumes like um Lancome is Lancome French, you know Paema Lancome, like that bright yellow floral. This is quite pretty guys and it costs pennies. Um I mean I bought this for 40 pounds. I bought this for £40, but you can buy it for, like, £20. It's, like, very affordable. Um, I was visiting my friend, and I was giving her a few of my perfumes, and on the way, I saw that there was this... Mind you, I was in the ghetto. I was in the hood, because <laughs> she lives in the ghetto, and I saw that there was this, like, little rundown perfume shop, but that perfume shop, I need to return to it, guys. It is... They had all the good shit, and I was kind of in a rush, so I just bought this. Um, anyway, so what do I get? So... It's just, like, it's pretty florals, but it's not, like, soapy. Mm, it's a bit chemically, but it's not soapy. I smell, like, water lily. Quintian Bish is the perfumer, right? And he does all of the good shit. Um, guys, you know, like, us perfume maniacs, it's so interesting because I never really talk about perfumers. The reason being because... It's like, I don't know, like, if there's a fragrance that I really love, you know, and I check out the perfumer, you would think, oh, like, surely their other perfumes are bomb. No, it's just like that one perfume that is good, no offense, but yeah, I never really talk about perfumers, unfortunately. Yeah, it's usually like just one good perfume and that's it, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what can I say? Okay, so this is just a nice floral perfume to slap on. It's nothing groundbreaking. I think for the price, it's a fantastic perfume, but only if you like the classic old school French perfumes, but it does smell modern. It does smell modern, and for some reason, guys... Okay, it's like yellow florals, almost tropical, with a nice sweetness. For some reason, in the dry down, it has that beautiful spice that I get in Versace Crystal Noir, 100%. And I'm not sure if it's the orange blossom. And this creaminess. Yeah, this is a creamy perfume, guys. I think I laid this with Haya by Le Tefa, and that was very nice, so... I mean, yeah, kind of pointless. I really did not need to buy this, guys. I did not need another um, floral perfume. But I think this would just be nice to slap on. And, yeah, like, I'll try layer this with some perfumes and see. Be a nice floral perfume. So pay attention to this. If Pay attention to this, guys, if you're looking for a nice classic floral perfume that doesn't really smell old, vintage, quite modern, you know. 
and moderate performance. Yeah, it does project, it does last, I would say, five to six hours easily. Surprisingly, yeah, I just don't like the bowl. I mean, just the lid. The bowl is cute, I like the idea. Because it looks like, um, a teardrop, ooh. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, guys, and finally, finally, guys, I have an interesting story to tell you. <laughs> okay, so... What is this? Uh, Angel Muse by Mugler Odepa Farm. Such an interesting story. Okay, guys, so... You guys know that I'm into, like, law of attraction and manifestation, and in my time on YouTube... Sorry, I'm just staring at my reflection. I look like an alien. <laughs> Anyways, so on my time in YouTube, I've seen this fragrance. You know, people describe this as a very difficult, you know, patchouli with, like, um, a Nutella chocolate spread. You know, so, you know, this was always on my mind. I saw it baffled and had. I'm not really craving anything challenging. And you know how Mugler is. Okay, so I remember. Yeah, I received this about a week ago. So on that day, like, in the morning, I was watching 50 Cents UK. And I love her YouTube videos, but she doesn't upload. I hope she's okay. Like, I leave her messages in the comments. But I love 50 Cents UK. She's just hilarious. I love her accent, too. She's very British. But anyway, so she was talking about this perfume. And then, in my mind, right, like, guys, I manifest everything. Like, for me, it's easy. It's actually, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, like, for me, it's easy to manifest. I don't really view it as anything challenging. So, in my mind, I was like, oh, how amazing would it be to have, you know, this perfume, right? It looks so delicious. And that's what they call effortless manifestation, right? And that's how it is. Like, every day, constantly, you're manifesting. You're either manifesting or you're not. Like, you're manifesting having something, or you're manifesting not having something. And I think when manifesting, Jesus Christ, how many times am I going to say that? A big mistake that people do is they try to put in effort, but manifestation is supposed to be effortless. Like, you think it, and that's it. You know it's going to come. And so, you know, I thought of it, and then that same day, I saw it online for a fantastic price, bought it. How insane is that? And then, yeah. Okay, so guys, spoiler alert. Don't get any chocolate. Yes, it has that, um... Shit, it has that, um... Mugler DNA, you know? Like the a No, the star. Jesus Christ, angel. Yeah, angel. It has that angel DNA, but more wearable, more pleasant. Zero chocolate. Not really any patchouli. Nothing dirty or challenging about this. In fact, guys, I smell cherries. This smells so, so similar to the original Lolita Lempica. Absolutely bizarre. And in the beginning, when you spray this, you know what, I'm going to spray this on my skin, because I don't want to... No, I'll do it on paper, actually, just because bedtime soon. I love the atomizer. Ah. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh, yeah, so guys, in the beginning, you get that pink pepper. So pink pepper, I really dislike in perfumes. When I see it in a perfume, I'm just like, why? Congratulations, you ju you've just ruined your perfume. But seriously, like, pink pepper, they always use it as a top note, and it smells like pharmacy like hospital medicine you know band-aids but luckily that fades and you just get this beautiful honey sweetness it reminds me of the discontinued eau de star by Mugler. so i get a honey sweetness with cherries and it's a very rich cherry it smells so so similar to lolita limpica it's like imagine um literally imagine lolita limpica with alien d no Angel DNA, Jesus Christ, I'm getting it mixed up. And for some reason, yes, like, this is mature. Like, it smells like, it, I would smell, I feel like a mature, I feel like mature women have worn this. I don't know why, but this was only released in, like, 2016, right? Maybe I'm getting it confused with, like, Angel. For some reason, I like it, and especially in the air, guys, it smells beautiful. It's, like, refined, mature, honey sweetness with that cherry. Nothing challenging, surprisingly, even though I was craving something a bit, like, challenging. Yeah, I really like this. Why am I smelling this when I have the pink? <laughs> Anyways, and beautiful performance, guys. This is the Eau de Parfum, not the Eau de Toilette. And yeah, so interesting. It's crazy how our noses work in just different ways. And I think it's like a phenomenon because, you know, I think that there's something wrong with my nose. But then, you know, in the comments, you guys will say, Calvin, like, I smell the same thing. Like, it's the same with me. Like, I don't smell chocolate in that perfume. So it's really bizarre. And then other people will say, oh, no, like, I smell the chocolate orange, you know, things like that. So 
it's very 50-50, right, how our noses works. I just find it so interesting. Okay, guys, and there we have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I think that's it. Like, I talked about all the perfumes. Yeah, I think it's like a myriad of perfumes. Like, <laughs> my tastes are so weird. Like, guys, I can finally say that I like everything. I don't mind the vintage, old school, classic, gourmand, artificial, synthetic um and are any of these fails honestly no i feel like they're nice in their own way i'll definitely like try bathing them and layer with them one last thing that i want to say that is really funny is you know i love perfume and i've been collecting it for the longest time but when it comes to layering i'm like that monkey in toy story where it's like <laughs> literally like i had to ask a girl i was like how the hell do you layer perfumes because I noticed when I layer, one perfume will always eat the other, and it's just kind of like, why did I, you know, bathe in these two perfumes when one just ate the other one? I felt like it doesn't mix. And she told me that you must layer with similar families. Like, they can't be, they can't clash. Like, they need to mix. So do, like, similar family or similar DNAs. And yeah, ever since doing that, it's been a lot better. Um, and I've really been enjoying layering perfumes. And I still like to wear fragrance on its own guys because you don't need to layer every single perfume perfume should be perfect when you buy it anyways guys this video is long thank you so so much for watching this video i'm so glad that while i was recording this there was no freaking fireworks because jesus bonafire night and diwali is long past guys i have beef with fireworks i'm sorry <laughs> wait let me <laughs> this video is ending soon but literally like Fireworks just give me a heart attack. I don't really see the appeal and I feel bad for the animals. I feel bad for the elderly people. I am elderly people. Like, Jesus Christ, guys. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Have an amazing day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Bye, guys. Woohoo! <laughs>